You know, where this all started is I get a call one day. And the call was, Mr. Gillum, this is Charlie Warner. Had a little small talk, kind of get to know. He goes, I'd like to ask your daughter out for a date. Okay, and mind you, he's a college student, a male college student. And he's calling me without seeing his knowledge to ask her for a date. And I thought, good gosh. I mean, how do you say no to that, right? So I get a second call. A few months later, it says, uh, Mr. Gillum, this is Charlie, not Charlie Warner, so I got a first name basis. This is Charlie, said, uh, I'd like to ask Sydney to be my girlfriend. He goes, I want your permission to do so. So I was like, Charlie? Absolutely. You know what? Again, what do you say? And I got to think about the movie, Jerry Maguire. And um, you know what he says in the movie? It says, hello. And you had me at hello, Charlie. You had me, Mr. Gillum. <laughs> You are my best friend in the world, and I love you more than anyone. But I want to let you know that I will always put God first and submit to Christ for my relationship with God. I will put your needs before mine. I have him to thank for you being in my life. Thank you, Lord. In front of everyone, I want to say thank you for putting such an awesome, God-fearing woman in my life that I get to spend the rest of my days with. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, God, for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins <laughs> so we can live freely and love everyone as you have called us to do so. Thank you for loving us so much and for blessing us with the gift of marriage. What an awesome thing it is for us that we get to grow even closer and learn to be more like you. Sydney, I want to thank you for who you are. As a friend, you care so deeply for those around you and you love to outstretch your arms for those who are in need. You are the most genuine person I have ever known, and that is one of my favorite things about you. You demand the best from everyone, and especially me. You push me to be better man and leader every day, even though some days I don't want to. Sydney, I will do my best to always lead you in a way that puts God's interests first and not ours. It won't always be easy, but I will strive to do so. And when I fail, I will lead you in showing humility before the Lord and ask for forgiveness. I will strive to always love you the way you need to be loved. And when I fail, ask for help and not be prideful. 
I will always be your best friend and listen to you in a time of need, stick up for you, and tell you when you're wrong or right. I promise to always be me, and nobody else, and by that I mean a broken sinner chasing after the heart of Jesus, asking for forgiveness, and trying to love everyone, and being a piece of clay while Jesus continually molds me. One thing I can say I will do, Sydney, Sydney, I vow to always protect you and our kids one day, Lord willing, and if need be, <laughs> show you the greatest love that Jesus says a man can show and lay down my life for you. I pray and ask for help from the Holy Spirit to help me do all this in marriage for you, Sydney, because I can't do it alone. Lord Jesus, thank you for your helper, the Holy Spirit. Sydney, I agape you and can't wait to do a little life with you. Amen. Got me all worked up here. <laughs> Charlie, the man who got the most impatient girl into a deer stand in the early winter mornings. <laughs> the man who made me realize that despite the hand warmers and the many layers of clothing, your whispers, eyes of wonder, and patience are what kept me most warm and content. The man who taught me that it's not about catching, but about fishing, and how true that mantra of yours is, regardless of if you're talking about fish or people. I've never met a man so unapologetically himself. You're this wonderful balance of simple and stable, yet complex and wild. And that's what hooked me. <laughs> that's when I knew I was no longer just starting, staring into the eyes of a handsome man, but into the eyes of my future husband. And now, as I stand here, looking into your eyes, I see a man who is incredibly loyal, a man who illustrates John 15, 13. There's no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. <laughs> you always put others before yourself, I see a man whose heart hurts for what God hearts hurt for. A man that loves intentionally and intensely. A man that many can trust in and find counsel in. You're fun, constant, and loving. Mm -hmm. Charlie Warner, you unraveled me. Mm -hmm. You slowly took la layers of worry, selfishness, pride, perfectionism, and doubt and said, these are too heavy for you. Let's take them to the cross. Mm -hmm. It wasn't difficult to see that once I met you, my eyes became brighter, my mind clearer, and my heart pure. You reminded me that growing up doesn't always mean growing old, and how the simplicity of laughing and singing off key can also simplify our problems. <laughs> You're this beacon of light for me. You shine bright enough to lead me closer to Jesus, and dim enough to not compete with the fulfillment only He can give. Your transparency to let God's light shine gave me this overwhelming peace joy and drive that I knew was too good to exist if the Holy Spirit wasn't dwelling in your heart. I can't promise you much because I'm too broken to sell you on an easy life. I will challenge you, frustrate you, and some days hurt you, but because of the redemptive blood of Jesus, I will love you intensely. Mm. Charlie, I promise to choose you, to take up my cross next to you. I promise to endure the hardships alongside you and rejoice in the joys of life no matter how big or small. And there's the part that hurts, because I know it's the only promise I'll completely keep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My flesh will let you down. I will fail you spiritually, emotionally, and physically. But I will also humbly walk to the throne of grace, ask for forgiveness, and with a heavy heart, challenge myself to love you more intentionally. Charlie, where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. You are my home. And when I look at you, I know that God not only wanted me to have life, but to have it abundantly. What a gift. Mm. Know that as you take my hand and lead me, and as my freckles fade and my wrinkles multiply, <laughs> I will only grasp your hand tighter and cement our covenant. You're my best friend. I love you. Let's go do a little life together. Amen. <laughs>
have prayed for an, anyone better than Charlie to be Sydney's true other half and can't wait for the years to come. If everyone would raise their glass, I don't have one, but <laughs> I wish y'all nothing but the best and I love you guys forever. Cheers. representative and servant of the Lord Jesus Christ and according to the ordinance of God and the laws of the state of North Carolina, I affirm that God has made you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one or no thing separate. Charlie, you may kiss your brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Introducing to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Warner!